world of tanks this time uh, it's brand new Italian uh, branch um, so we have a uh, first um, tier 1 tank very very similar to uh, Renault FT-17 um, and it's called Fiat 3000 of course uh, I will uh, try Italian beer um, there's not so many craft Italian craft beers uh, available in UK so unfortunately I will get uh, you know uh, Birra Moretti L'Autentica uh, Lager from Heineken Italia um, Okay So um, We have a small tank What they say about this tank? Details Light attack tank Fiat 3000 The vehicle was developed on the basis of the Renault FT French light tank the first prototype was manufactured in 1919 from 1921 to, through 1930 a total of 150 vehicles uh, with auto loading guns and machine guns were produced 26, uh, 26 of them were exported the vehicles so action until 1943 Wow, 43! So that was, um, you know, opposition in uh, North Africa, probably, or British tanks. Yeah. Okay, let's battle. Let's battle. Fiat 3000. And Bill de Moretti, Italian passion for brewing. From Luigi Moretti. Abi. Oh, I was hoping for you know, a really Italian map like Province. It would be nice. But this one is more or less in the same Mediterranean climate, I think. And like you can see. Uh, it's, it's again Again RB map Artillery bombardment It looks awesome Ay 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 I'm not going anywhere I will just make very nice Oh maybe here there, there maybe. Right. Okay. Right, it looks much better. You moved now. Now you moved. Okay. Let's do the print screen. Or miniature. Okay. Done. Right. Okay. Do we have a lemming train here? More or less. Almost everyone goes in the same direction. <coughs> it's not a very fast tank. They kept the French design, you know, the wooden wheels. At least it reduced the you know, overall weight of the tank. Okay. Okay, it looks just very nice this map. And this little tank with the Italian flag. Is it the flag of the kingdom? I'm not sure. Right. 
Amico Nemic Oh unfortunately Unfortunately Well at least At least uh, I had the opportunity to You know To shoot at enemy Right and I've destroyed one uh, It is a quite Quite good Battle I think Let's see how it will be later So uh, Let's open a bottle uh, we have a dedicated cup, Pirra Moretti Premium Lager uh, from 1859. Right, let's. Um... Okay, okay. So you will see the action here. Right, here's the cup. Dedicated glass, definitely. It's huge, heavy, quite thick uh, glass. So let's pour it out. All right, huge head, mm, small and medium bubbles, of course, very strong, hollow clear. Um, huge head, uh, big bubbles developing very quickly. Okay, aroma. <sighs> hey, look, <laughs> I have a bubble there. Actually, uh, it's quite faint. Mm, maltiness is uh, most prominent. Very, very small um, hoppiness. Very small, the maltiness is, you know, I think almost everything what you what you get from aroma. Let's, let's have a try. Mm. Oh, what's happened here? Alright, obviously he has a problem. Right. Actually quite, quite um, nice maltiness in taste, some lemon accents some bitterness but very low um, quite drinkable and crisp and refreshing, yes but this um, carbonation uh, makes impression that it's, it's um, forced carbonated, you know Some um, mineral water mm, like impression on the end. Mm, you know what? There's a bitterness is growing, but it's like quite herbal with metallic accents. Bam, so this is the end. Mm. Well, I would just say this it is a typical, um, typical lager. That's it. Mm, nothing exciting. Um, but it's not, not so bad, not so bad. Mm, okay, so that's what we had. Uh, so let's try the next tank. Uh, there. <sighs> right, so um, another Italian tank. How it looks in the tree. Um, 
Italiani Pia 3000 and then we have two uh, tanks uh, on tier 2 one is medium M1441 and LG40 okay so this and this one is light tank so let's keep it in the same type first was light so the second will be light as well okay uh, L640 tier 2 what do I say about the stuff? Italian light tank developed by Fiat Ansaldo in the late 1930s. The vehicle entered mass production in 1940 and came into service in 1942. Quite late for such a small tank. It was used in all fronts by the by the Italian armed forces, according to the one source. 283 vehicles uh, were manufactured by September 1943. However, some sources mention a different number of vehicles, 440. Hmm. Well, you know, it also wasn't a you know, huge opposition for the uh, British tanks in Africa. What do you think? Mm. We have two different uh, guns to, to choose. Mitagliera Breda, caliber 20, and Canone da 37, 40. Okay, and so I have uh, the better, a little bit better. Is it? Uh, mm, penetration is almost the same. Of course, its uh, damage will be much smaller. We will see, we will see. Okay then. Uh, let's try, let's try. Uh, so what they say on the bottom? Uh, Birre Moretti was founded in 1859 and is still brewed today with our traditional recipe to create a full-bodied golden beer. Known around the world for its quality taste. I don't know, it's not so much taste actually in it. There's no faults as well. No. So just um, no. I would say medium range, typical, uh, no mass-produced lager, nothing else. Brewed in UK, oh, by Heineken, Heineken UK Limited. Well, I thought it, it is the original Italian beer. Well, I was wrong. The same map. Oh, I'm sick of this, you know. I'm sick of this. Always the same maps. Bravo, Jaboli! Ay, ay, ay! Okay. Right, Avanti! Let's see how this tank will um, perform. No, actually, it's much, much faster. 41 kilometers per hour. Mmm, good. Oh, we have a s Swedish tank destroyer here. And the Russian light tank. On our side. Okay. how it looks what 
Ты идиот! What else you can do now? I think you can do like a you know, small surprise. Come, friend. What have you done? Distrutto. Come on, friend. Don't be shy. Show yourself. Hello, where are you? Are we playing hide and seek? Ah, oh, gotcha. Uh, he, he got me, unfortunately. At the party. Okay, at least it was a, you know, decent battle, at least. <sighs> right, um, so, what's the impression of the Birre Moretti L'Authentica? Just typical, quite soft, mm, easy drink and uh, mass-produced lager. Quite multi. Mm. Actually, I like multi multi lagers. It's okay. Bitterness um, after a few sips, it develops um, quite long but very small uh, bitterness, and it's like mm, quite herbal with uh, mineral background. But it's okay. Of course, if you would listen uh, to manufacturers and chill it to almost uh, zero degrees, you would not uh, find uh, any um, uh, taste or aroma in it. So you would just to have a um, cold, bubbly uh, drink. That's it. Um, quite refreshing, of course. Um, that's it. And we have victory. Um, so oh, it looks like it is a good sign um, to finish uh, this episode. Because I'm sure that you know, two tanks it will be like a good format. It's not too long. Um, it's quite short. Um, so one beer. Two tanks, I think it would be okay. Four tanks, it was much too long, much too long, especially with those uh, breaks uh, between the battles. So, two tanks, I think, it would be best. So, I will try in the next um, next um, battles, next um, playing with tanks, um, beer reviews. I will try to uh, stick uh, to two tanks maximum. Uh, okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, so please like it, please subscribe my channel, of course uh, if you already done it, hit the bell button, it will remind you about every new video on the channel, so you will be up to date. Cheers! Um, can anyone tell me how it's, how it's cheers in Italian? Cheers. Chin chin? Maybe? Who knows?